Welcome to a Disney Day vlog, but we're gonna start the day off at California Adventure, so let's hop back to the morning. In half a mile, take exit 110B for Disneyland Drive toward Hall Road. Just got to Disneyland parking, and if you didn't already know, it costs $30 to park. But it is what it is. I just made it to Disneyland and I parked my car literally on the surface of the sun. That's what it feels like when you park the car on the top level. It's just extremely hot and in the sun, but either way, I am here and I am excited. I'm not sure which one I have a reservation for today first because normally I just come at switchover time where you can switch between parks with your pass and it is not that time, so I actually have to figure out which park I'm allowed to go into for the next like hour or two. security and he said he's like have a good time and I'm like you too I meant to say thank you but either way I gotta hop on one of the trams right now and get into the park I'm so much earlier than normal maybe this means I won't be here until midnight tonight that's what it was last time for your safety remain seated with the doors closed keeping your hands on feet and legs inside while the tram closes. Oh, okay. I am pretty sure my first reservation is for California Adventure, but I'm not completely certain, so I'm just gonna try it and we'll see if it works. <laughs> Perfect, it was for this park at first, and this is what it looks like when you first walk in. It is super busy today, and actually a lot warmer than I expected it to be. So as my usual goal with my Disney days by myself is to hit things that I don't normally do or haven't done before, so I have a few of those things on the list, like seeing a show I hadn't seen before. But either way, I'll show you guys everything that I'm gonna go see and do. But hopefully we can hit some things that I haven't done before. And if you wanna check out my other Disney vlog and see other things I have done, I will link my playlist down below. But either way, let's go catch a show. Actually, before we see anything, I wanna see what the drawings are for today and what time they are. I am glad I did the drawings yesterday, not yesterday, last time I went because they are closed today. They might be open tomorrow, but at least I did it last time I was here. Sorry, the music is super loud here, but I need to get out of here because they are not doing any drawings. The next thing on my list to do is to go see one of the shows. I have no idea what time they are though. So I figured I would see if it's on the app. Because a lot of stuff's on the app. It's really convenient that they have all this now. Like they didn't have this when I was younger and went to Disney World. But let's see if my phone will actually load and show me what time it is. So that is what the theater looks like. I officially researched it more. It closed in 2020 and they do not have an official day they're coming back. They used to play Frozen, but now it has been closed for like two years. So no official return date, which means AK, I'm not seeing that show today. No offense to anyone's drawing skills, but I would not pay $169 for these. Like, they're cool, but who would pay $169 for them? I definitely think the gas station is super cute, and just the general decor in this area is so over the top. But one of the most famous rides here is Radiator Springs, the racing ride. It is closed today. I heard supposedly it might be because of a fire. So the drawings are closed, the race ride is closed. So basically my two favorite things in this park are closed and I haven't even rode anything yet. I have a return time for Spider-Man though. And Spider-Man, yeah. I have a return time for Spider-Man so I will go to that soon. And it is really pretty just to walk through here but I am disappointed that there are two things closed that I really wanted to do. Oh, well three, because that theater has been closed but that's been closed since 2020 so that's my own fault for not knowing that. <laughs> Either way, it is super pretty to walk through here even though the ride is not open today. While I wait for my reservation for the Spider-Man ride, I might go ride the coaster. It says it's only a 10 minute standby wait time. I don't know if I believe that it's only 10 minutes. There is the coaster right there. It's the white one coming around right now. So that is the one that supposedly doesn't have a long wait time right now. So I think I'm gonna hop over there and get on it. Here is the Incredible Coaster line. I think this is the single rider section. Got the single rider pass, so we are ready to go. Keep your head firmly against the headrest and remain seated with your hands, arms, feet. And the baby is 
part is I want to ride the Toy Story ride but, but it's like an hour wait time and so I'm just gonna go to the one I have a standby time for and then once I finish that standby time at Spider-Man get a standby time for this one and come back to it but I feel like I'm just going back and forth but either way it works making my way over to the Spider-Man ride right now and there is a web slingers the Spider-Man ride that I have a return time for I hopped out of the lightning lane and went to the single rider lane because supposedly it is way faster But either way if you guys want to see this ride check out the last vlog I did because I'm not going to do it on this one And I'm going to head over to Disneyland soon Now it's time to go on the Little Mermaid ride because that one was closed last time I was here So I'll take you guys on this one flower petals. This is the last ride I'm going to do at California 
adventure and I'm headed over to Disneyland, but I'm so happy Space Mountain is now open again, so I'm gonna get a standby time for that right now. So it's 70 minutes, so by the time I get to the other park, I can just hop right on the ride. I'm excited. Now it is time to go over to the Disneyland side. We are done with California Adventure until tonight where I will hopefully be able to get to see a world of color. Kind of confused on the return time for that. I asked and they were a little unclear. But either way, now I'm heading over to Disneyland side. The first ride I think is going to be Space Mountain, but I can't remember what my return time is for that. So we might have to ride like a ride or two before that. But oh, it's so hot out today though. Not to complain, but it's definitely hot today. And I thought it was gonna be cold. But either way, let's head into the park. Gotta love the pretty train. Oh, how cute. They actually have the horse-drawn carriage out. I haven't seen that in like forever. Oh, adorable. And I never go in all the random like little shops across here in the main area when you walk into Disneyland. So I decided I'm just gonna go inside them. I figure I never went, so let's go see what's inside. So this one's Disneyland gifts. Oh, they are Okay, I love the Haunted Mansion one. Like, just look at that. It gives me such Halloween vibes. And if you're curious how much the Haunted Mansion one is, it's $19,990. It's beautiful, but I would not pay 20 grand for it. Holy crap. <laughs> right now it's a bunch of Haunted Mansion related memorabilia. And the artwork is actually pretty cool. Because Haunted Mansion is probably one of my favorites. So I appreciate that's what they're showing right now. And then here is the map of Disneyland. That was so cool. Or model, I should say. Look that scale model. And just this room in general. So over the top. It's amazing. In case you were wondering, this is actually to scale for the Capitol building, and it was started in 1932 by George Lloyd of Benville, New Jersey. So on my side of the coast from where I came from, because I came from Connecticut, so I was in New Jersey all the time. And he finished it in 1935, and it's 316th of an inch to the foot. If that makes any sense, so it's scaled. That is amazing how detailed it is. And it took him three years to finish it. Who knows how long he actually spent doing it, but it's pretty detailed and carved out. So when we decided to bring to Disneyland's visitors some great moments in Mr. Lincoln's life, we began an exhaustive research. We wanted to bring to the people of today the inspiring words of the man who held this nation together during its moment of greatest crisis. Say a lot of
Tomorrowland. So now I can go on Space Mountain and the Star Wars ride and the, get the shooter ride that I can't remember the name of. But either way, oh, so nice. Oopsie daisy, I guess I didn't hit confirm on my return time thingy, so I'm gonna go log a different way and I got a return time, but now it's not for like an hour or over an hour because it didn't confirm the last one. So I've been waiting for nothing because it wasn't confirmed, but ooh, look at that ride. So it's funny, I guess there's like a hidden Mickey over in this area and there's two guys looking for it Then there's two other people looking for it and they came up to me and they're like I bet you know the answer and I honestly have no idea where the hidden Mickey is But either way, I guess there's a hidden Mickey in this area But I think it's just so cute with the little duckies and all the stuff going on But if you were ever wondering, this is what the castle looks like at Disneyland It is so much smaller than Disney World but it's still cute And this is what the front of the castle looks like Let's see if we will fit on the boat. And this is the top of the boat. Major luck. 